FCI Environmental Incorporated develops, manufactures, and markets fiber optic chemical sensors for real-time in situ monitoring of hydrocarbons in water, vapor, soil, and at the water vapor interface. The PetroSense PHA100 is a portable hydrocarbon analyzer that makes real-time in situ measurements of PPM levels of petroleum hydrocarbons. It provides fast, accurate, and quantitative data for petroleum hydrocarbons in water and vapor, the water vapor interface, and soil. The PHA100 has a better than 95% correlation with a laboratory gas chromatograph. The PHA100 comes in a rugged carrying case that includes a meter, a probe, interface box and cable, calibration and cleaning supplies, and a quick reference guide. To charge the PHA100, plug the interface cable to the back of the meter, and then plug the charger to the interface box and the main power supply. The PHA-100 must be preconditioned and calibrated before any measurements can be made. It is preconditioned by placing the probe in a high concentration hydrocarbon solution. The concentration of the preconditioning solution does not need to be accurate. Place the probe into the red label tube containing the preconditioning solution. Gently agitate the probe to remove any air bubbles from the tube and leave for 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes, rinse the probe thoroughly and place in the green zero PPM tube. The probe is now preconditioned and ready for use. The PHA-100 needs to be calibrated when the unit is first received and periodically once in use. The instrument can be calibrated both in water and in vapor. To calibrate the instrument, go to the calibration menu on the unit. In the calibration menu, choose Water Cal. Place the probe in the green tube, mark zero PPM, and fill it with zero PPM water. Gently agitate the probe and then choose the one point or the two point calibration. At the end of the 300 second countdown, remove the probe from the zero PPM water. Shake, towel dry, and place in the yellow C1 tube. Pour the C1 solution into the tube. Gently agitate the probe and press F3. At the end of the 300 second countdown, remove the probe from the C1 tube. Rinse, shake, towel dry, and place in the zero PPM tube and press F3. After the 300 seconds, the unit is calibrated and is ready for use. For a two-point calibration, the procedure is the same as the one-point calibration except after removing the probe from the C1 tube, after the 300 second countdown, shaking, and towel drying, the probe is placed in the red C2 tube.
pour the C2 solution into the tube. Gently agitate the probe and press F3. At the end of the 300 second countdown, remove the probe from the C2 solution. Rinse, shake, towel dry and place in the zero PPM tube and press F3. After the 300 seconds, the unit is calibrated and is ready for use. The water calibration automatically adjusts the vapor calibration. The calibration can be verified by measuring the concentration of a known sample of water or vapor. To calibrate the instrument in vapor, a vapor standard C1V and clean air are needed and can be obtained from a local gas supplier. The C1V standard should be above 250 ppm of p xylene in air. An 8 liter Tedlar gas bag with the appropriate fittings is also needed. This can be purchased from FCI Environmental. Before starting the calibration procedure, ensure that the actual concentration of the C1V standard is entered in the instrument. This can be done by pressing F3 in the calibration menu and scrolling to the C1V value. Enter the concentration of the standard being used by using the keypad and pressing enter. Return to the calibration menu by scrolling through the calibration check menu. Place the probe inside the Tedlar bag through the probe fitting, making sure that the window of the probe is at least four inches inside the bag. Open the on-off valve and fill the bag with at least one liter of clean air. When the bag is full, stop the flow and close the valve. In the calibration menu, select Vapor Cal and press F3 to start calibration. At the end of the 300 second countdown, remove the septum from the bag and open the on-off valve. Gently squeeze the air out of the bag. Flush the gas bag with C1V standard gas, making sure that all the air in the bag has been exchanged. Replace the septum port and let the bag fill until at least one liter of the standard gas is in the bag. Close the on-off valve and press F3. At the end of the 300 second countdown, remove the septum from the bag and open the on-off valve. Gently squeeze the gas out of the bag.
Flush the gas bag with clean air, making sure that all the gas in the bag has been exchanged. Replace the septum port and let the bag fill until at least one liter of clean air is in the bag. Close the on-off valve and press F3. At the end of the 300 second countdown, the probe is calibrated and ready for use. Remove the probe from the bag and place in the humidity tube. Before making measurements, the probe has to be zeroed. Place the probe in the green zero PPM tube with zero PPM water. The probe is zeroed by pressing F1 in the measurements menu. The zeroing process takes five minutes and ensures a stable zero. A stable reading for zero or a measurement is indicated by the letter S appearing beside the PPM reading on the display. For screening applications, the probe can be quick zeroed. Remove the probe from the zero PPM solution, shake, and towel dry. Place the probe in the sample that needs to be measured. Note that a beep will be heard as soon as the probe enters the water while the display will take five seconds to change. A single measurement is made by pressing F4 and then F2 in the measurement menu. This measurement is the most accurate measurement that can be made using the PHA 100 and takes five minutes. The screen displays the concentration, the media, water or vapor, and the temperature of the probe. The PPM reading is held until the user exits from this mode. For screening applications, press F3 for continuous measurement. The sample's concentration will be displayed and updated every five seconds. The reading is stable when the S appears. Remember, after each measurement, to rinse the probe thoroughly with clean water and re-zero the probe. For soil vapor analysis, a soil jar is needed and can be purchased from FCI Environmental. Put a few milliliters of water in the soil jar. Place the probe in the jar through the fitting on the lid. Zero the probe in the jar by pressing F1 in the measurement menu. The zeroing process takes five minutes and ensures a stable zero. A stable reading for zero or a measurement is indicated by the letter S appearing beside the PPM reading on the display. Once a stable zero is obtained, remove the lid with the probe and place the contaminated sample of soil into the jar, making sure that the jar is half full. Add water to the soil so that the soil is just covered by the water. Replace the lid and observe the concentration reading. This reading will increase until the headspace in the jar reaches equilibrium. This is indicated by the appearance of the letter S next to the concentration value. Equilibrium can take several minutes to achieve depending upon the type of contamination. 
Remember, after each vapor measurement, to air out the probe thoroughly with clean air before proceeding to the next measurement. Zero the probe in the field as described earlier. When making measurements in a monitoring well in the field, remember that the probe should not be placed in free floating product. Some monitoring wells have floating product on the water. Lower the probe into the well. Observe the display. The vapor concentration will change. If this concentration begins to read thousands of ppm, then there is a high probability of floating product on the water. Remove the probe from the well and determine the extent of the contamination before making any measurements. If the vapor concentration remains low, then lower the probe into the water. A beep will be heard as soon as the probe enters the water. Stop lowering the probe. The display will change from vapor to water. Observe the display for the concentration. The concentration reading will be valid when the S appears next to the display or exit to measurement menu and press F2 for a single measurement. After a measurement is made, remove the probe from the well and rinse thoroughly. Store the probe in the humidity tube. When the PHA 100 is switched on, the main menu is displayed. Pushing F1 takes the unit into the measurement menu. All measurements are made in this mode. F2 takes the unit into the calibration menu, where the probe can be calibrated and the calibration constants checked. F3 takes the unit into the utilities menus. Refer to user's manual section 2.9 for complete details. F4 takes the unit into the site identification menu where the site ID, probe ID, and the probe constants are stored. FCI Environmental also provides instruments for the continuous monitoring of hydrocarbons. These are the PetroSense CMS 4000 and the CMS 5000. They consist of a data acquisition and storage module, which can be connected with up to 16 probes and an optional alarm module. The CMS 5000 is capable of detecting leaks at leak rates much less than 0.2 gallons per hour from ASTs and USTs and is equipped with a modem for remote communications. It can be used for a number of applications where long-term monitoring of hydrocarbons is required. These include the continuous monitoring of leaks from above and below ground storage tanks, remediation monitoring, post-remediation monitoring, process controls, bilge water monitoring, and storm water monitoring. The CMS 4000 can be used for remediation monitoring, post-remediation monitoring, process controls, bilge water monitoring, storm water monitoring, and wastewater monitoring. It has analog and digital outputs and an optional modem for remote communications. FCI Environmental's products are certified intrinsically safe for Class 1, Division 1 applications and are listed with UL, CUL, and KEMA.